Zoom calls are still a very popular and safe way to see uh, friends and family. Even if you are getting a little sick of it, you're definitely not alone. <laughs> but how about making it feel more like a party? Yeah, that Zoom fatigue is yeah. real. Channel 3's Caitlin Francis has today's Small Business Spotlight. What started as a hobby for Natasha Patterson turned into a business during the pandemic, making food into art. I kind of like to make little fan out of it. She started Brilliant Boards just a few months ago after her friends and family convinced her it was a good idea and after she said she did ample research. Brilliant, yeah, so it's brilliant because it's like brilliant idea, yeah. but the brilliant spelled B R I E, like brie, like cheese. cheese, like cheese. <laughs> and with the pandemic, she says the demand is there. I have made, um, uh, in addition to larger boards, I actually make small, I call them quarantine boxes. So it's individual box. People have been uh, getting them for like wine taste tastings, um, like you said, Zoom meetings and just socially distant events. Uh, drive by baby showers, um, you get yourself an individual snack, or, you know, if you have in a larger gathering, um, like few people, you can get a larger board, but I feel like people looking for something um, in this, you know, COVID, COVID times. But it's not just your basic cheese and crackers. Take a look at how she uses cured meats, nuts, and fruits. Kind of like filling the gaps. Even desserts like rainbow cookies and chocolates are included. She says cheese boards like this are a full meal all on one plate. I always say there is something for everyone. Um, my usual boards have um, three or more kinds of cheese, um, three or more kinds of meats, and then um, all little, you know, um, fun stuff. And she has it down to almost a science, but it's like piecing a puzzle together. She starts with the jams and jellies and then the pickles and olives before filling the rest of the plate up, never leaving any space without something to graze. Some chocolate. Yeah, you have as in like chocolate, right? She works insurance as a day job, but she loves the creative outlet Brilliant Boards is giving her. My husband said, would you like me to get you a slicer? I said, no. Patterson says she's renting space in the Foodology Cooking School kitchen now, and she hopes to have her own storefront soon. In Plantsville, I'm Caitlin Francis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.